One of the most popular videos on my channel is my DIY logo video. Unfortunately, that tutorial was created in Canva 1.0 and now there is so much more to show you now that Canva has Canva 2.0. So what we'll do in this video is I'm going to walk you through not only how to make a logo, but how to make multiple variations of your logo inside of Canva. If you have not joined my VIP Vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LashondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. <music> Your logo is the beginning of your visual brand in person and online. And what I love about Canva is it gives you the option to create a logo in a matter of minutes that you can use in your brand. Now here's the deal. I would not suggest staying with your Canva logo for the entire lifetime of your organization. But if we're in the mindset of bootstrapping, to get yourself started, I would create a logo within Canva. And then as you start to learn more about your brand, you start to interact with your customers, you can always refresh your logo. And I love doing that in my businesses. I've pretty much done that either two or three times with all my brands and it's made a huge difference. So if you are starting from the ground up, if you're looking at 2020 saying, I wanna be an entrepreneur, I've got a side hustle that I want to try out, go ahead and start by creating a logo in Canva. The templates that they have available in Canva 2.0 are incredible. However, they are very small. So the logo file is 500 by 500 pixels. So if you need a larger variation of your logo, make sure that once you finish designing, you resize it to create a bigger version of your logo design. So we're going to click on the templates and I'm going to show you how much has changed with the template designs. So these are more modern, you have more selections and you've got categories art, fashion, band, computer, food, education, sports, and it keeps going and going and going. After it gets past all that, you're going to see all the results below it. So when you have a logo design that has an icon involved, it gives you way more flexibility to manipulate your logo for various situations. In some cases, your logo may need to be in a circle. Other times, it may need to be thin and in a single line. Other times, it may need to be a stacked version. And so what I like to do is I like to start with a Canva template, and then I like to change it up a little bit so that I have multiple ways to use that logo online. So in my experience, you want to vary up the placement of the elements, and you also want to vary up the colors. So we are going to choose one of these to play around with and I will show you exactly what I mean. So let's see here. This one looks pretty cool. So this one is for a high school apparently. And so the first version of the logo is going to be what I would call a stacked logo where the elements within the logo are stacked beside each other. Now here's the problem. This logo is on a colored background. So if I use any color that's different than this tan, it's going to stand out. So the first thing you wanna do is click on the background and delete it. So you want to leave that logo by itself suspended on top of that template page. When you save it as a transparent background, it will allow you to lay this over whatever you'd like. So variation number one is straight out of the gate. I'm not changing any fonts, any colors. I'm keeping it just as it is. The next one that I would do, we're gonna go ahead and copy that page and we're going to ungroup the elements, is I would do a variation where the icon is on the left and the words are on the right. Now, as you can see, this takes up a lot less space than this one. So this one would work really well 
as the header on a website versus this would be a better fit for maybe stationary. So that's a variation that you can do. Another variation could be, you know, putting the text on the side here. And so in this case, we may want to make it smaller just so I can show you what I mean. But you could have a variation that's like this with the icon on the side. And that would be as thin as it could be. And so that would be a single line variation. So now we've got the original, a stacked version, and a single line version. The last thing I want to do is I want to copy it, get rid of the text altogether, and I'm going to take that icon and I'm going to make it huge. And so that way, if I want to have a version of this logo that's just the icon, I've got it there. So here are your different variations. Now, like I said, you may want to resize it after you finish designing it. So if that's the case, I would go to resize. And I think a good size would be the Facebook post. Right now, this template is 500 by 500. So this will bump it up to 940. And if you have a Canva Pro account, you can simply resize it and it'll take care of that for you. Now, if you want to stretch anything, you can just click and drag it. Same thing here. If you want to keep all the elements together, select it all and group it. And we can position that in the center and in the middle. And that looks pretty good. So after you finish resizing, you'll want to rename your design, which you can do in the top right hand corner. And I named this logo color variations. Then you'll click on this arrow to download it. And the most important part is to select transparent background. Then you want to go ahead and download your logo variations. Now this is going to zip everything up as a zip file. So you'll need to find that folder and extract your designs from it. Now, as you can see, here are all of the designs that we created, but they're all in color. So if you want an all white or an all black version of your logo, what you can do after you have designed all of your logos is find that folder again upload them to Canva, and then this time around, you'll simply click on the element and select a filter. You can choose street, you can choose grayscale, you can decide the intensity by moving the slider at the bottom. But this is a very simple way to create grayscale versions of your logos that you can also save on your computer. Now, if you happen to want an all white version of your logo, we'll copy this one more time. We'll come down here to number nine and you can adjust the brightness of your design and the contrast. And as you can see, the more brightness and contrast your logo has, the whiter it becomes. So we will go ahead and go from page five to page nine and download those variations of the logo by clicking on the boxes next to them, transparent background, and downloading them. So if you want to keep things organized on Canva 2.0, what you can do 
is you can create a folder and we can call it new logos. Then we'll go back into Canva and upload all of our logos to a folder. Now, what I love about doing this is now, no matter what you're trying to create in your business, you've got all the variations that you need to make sure that your brand is represented well. So if we were creating a graphic and we can click on templates, and maybe in this case, a lighter version of the logo would be helpful. We can go to our folder, new logos, and we've got a version that we can drop on that dark background. But if we were doing something where we wanted something more colorful, like say this design, we could use this one instead. So as you can see, Canva 2.0 makes it easy not only to create a logo, but to create multiple variations for multiple scenarios. Whether you are putting your logo in a circle, you're putting it on a Facebook graphic, or you're creating something to go to print. So I hope that this updated video shows you all the cool things that you can do now that Canva has updated their platform. This tutorial is part of the Canva Create-a-thon, where I am creating a brand new Canva tutorial every single day leading up to Christmas. And if you can find all 25 secret words hidden in these videos, and you are the first person to let me know, you will win a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. So now I'm going to show you the secret word, grab a pen and paper to write it down and save it for later. The secret word is branding. Make sure that you write that down. And if you're interested in winning that website, go ahead back and try to find the secret words in the other tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I would love for you to subscribe because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.